Well, good morning, and thank you very much for joining us. I am Yori Fulani. Well, the Finance Minister, Kemi Adeochu, yesterday said that um, the Federal Executive Council had approved an inquiry, probe is probably the more common word, into you know, the remittances of a number of agencies, principal among which are JAMB and NIMASA, Nigerian Maritime Organization and the Joint Matriculation, Matriculation Board. Um, the boggling, mind-boggling figures, as you know, given by the minister, that in the past 40 years of the existence of the agencies, they hadn't, the, the uh, remittances had never exceeded 3 million naira um, per annum. N n yeah, no, no, per month. 3 million naira per month. But here we are, and uh, so far this year alone, 5 billion not M, billion Naira, had actually been remitted to the um, Consolidated Revenue Fund. Mind-boggling. One just looks at the, you know, try to sort of compare it. Not, never more than three million Naira in the past, for example, from JAM, but so far, five billion Naira has been remitted. I was querying that you know, we're talking about our producers. Are you sure there's no typographical error? And then the Minister of um, uh, Finance had said that actually the Minister of Education had said that there's a further 3 billion naira uh, to still come, uh, which would then bring the total to 8 billion naira uh, just this year alone. Uh, one doesn't know what to <laughs> make of those kind of figures. Um, then the Maritime Agency as well, you know, would follow a similar pattern. So the Federal Executive Council has ordered that, yeah, go ahead and investigate what happened, where were the leakages, what exactly went on. Because you have to bear in mind that there hasn't been an increase in, in their fees, in talking about JAM now, there hasn't been an increase in their fees um, or their charges or anything like that. Perhaps, perhaps there's been an explosion in the number of students that have um, accessed the uh, JAM services. I don't know. I'm just saying that. How do you explain a leap from three million Naira a month to up to date five billion Naira this year alone? And it's likely to move to eight billion Naira. Okay. Um, we just want to, we just have to know. And uh, I suppose there's going to be some aspect. One, one wants to be careful about using the word corruption, but it's probably going to be about the whole anti-corruption drive, although it remains to be seen when indeed the probe gets underway. Mr. Evans Ufeli is a lawyer and public affairs analyst. Good morning, sir. Thank you very much for coming on the program. Uh, you could see my difficulties there uh, because the, the figures, the, the, so wide, you know, 40 years of existence of uh, the agency, well, talk, taking JAM, for instance, and, you know, just as I said at the top, so far, Five billion naira, you know, accruing to the uh, consolidated uh, revenue fund, and a further three to come. But the one that we have even seen, five billion naira. So, uh, past, as the minister had said, past heads of those agencies are going to have to be probed. Some of them are already actually, for different um, reasons, being probed. Um, in the case of Nimasa, for example. But give me your 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 thoughts on this this whole story yeah from uh, that of jam uh, if you look at it uh, constructively because one has to be objective mm -hmm. given that uh, there is a probe ongoing now no that's not started has okay, it okay there's just approval uh, yes okay, there's approval there's a should be probe. yeah because we so, just need to find uh, out what uh, uh, so supposedly uh, where, where were the leakages an, anytime from now there will be investigation mm. into the activities of mm. the past administration oh uh, yes that uh, we came to the result of uh, having three billion uh, as against three million as against eight billion currently and well actually you, five you, but with, a, with an assurance, five, yes, with an assurance another eight is by coming. another minister another three, is three is to join that yes. five. Okay, now, now what, what I want to say about this is that um, uh, the past administration for JAMB, I, I know that they carried out a lot of reforms, okay? That is not to say that is where the money went to, mm. okay? There were a lot of reforms that were carried out in that administration and all that. And then this current administration also has carried out reforms, mm. okay, which ones have... Uh, 
also taking funds. But what I want to say about the agencies of government in Nigeria is that apart from the national budget, these agencies have their own budgets. And I want to believe that uh, um, money is budgeted for education, okay? I also want to believe that um, JAMB in itself, uh, you know, gets their own internally generated revenue, which is a huge sum. But, you know, between what federal government released to them and um, their own IGR and the remittance to government is where we have this issue. Definitely you are going to find out that some persons perhaps may have misappropriated funds. Okay, it is during investigation we will know uh, how these funds were retired, where were they retired to, who did what, when and how. Because it is not just Jamb Nemasa. There are other agencies yes, we have too to, yeah, MPA. that we, we, we now have to look into other agencies. Yes, because if you say that, if you say that uh, the, the, the oil industry constitutes just 15% of our GDP, it means that every other agency, agencies of government, you understand, we must begin to look into the books of these agencies and find out how really they spend the funds that, is, that are cruised to them and how much you got. Because at the end of the day, uh, sometimes government is really, really cheated, okay? And it bounces back to the people because the people really constitute what government is. So I think that uh, and proper investigation should be carried out to find out it, it, how. It, 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 which exactly must be what the executive, Federal Executive Council must have thought yeah. to have said. You, you just go ahead and find out what exactly has been going on. Uh, because you, you never know. Uh, in the past, I, I, I would guess that, um, you know, the whole matter of the status quo was very important. And so perhaps with successive administrations, uh, here I'm entirely speculating, but you, you, you can imagine a scenario where there would have been a kind of status quo and this is how we go about this kind of a thing, this is how we do what we do, and don't, maybe nobody should come in and uh, uh, break the trend or nobody should, you, you know, conceivably and speculatively on my part for now, yes. uh, there might have been uh, something like that. But with the Buhari administration and all of this business about plugging all the leak hole, uh, loopholes, um, you know, treasury single account. Um, you can't do anything that you want anymore without yes. getting layers of approval. Yes. Um, it just might well be that these kind of plugs might have been very, very helpful because it is a might. I'm just looking at how the minister, uh, Kemi Adeyoshu, explained it, that we've not seen more than three million naira remittances. Mm. I'm still tempted to say maybe she meant three billion naira, <laughs> but, but <laughs> she, she did say we've never seen more than three million naira. Yes. And here we are in this year alone. How many months do we have to the year? What, uh, just nine months. Yes. You know, in this year alone, five billion naira and with potential for it to rise to eight billion naira. It, it does begin to suggest that a probe is probably going to yield fruitful results, at least in terms of where wastages were, yeah. uh, and I think we can just limit it at this stage of the conversation to possible wastages, yes. so that one doesn't compromise whatever is going to come up. Um, in our, to most Nigerians, if you look at JAM especially, incredible Nigerians, as we, as we know such people, have headed up that, agencies, uh, that agency. So a lot of Credible Nigerians that have headed those kind of agencies, because it's not just the two of them, yes. uh, other ones, are now going to have to come and give an account of their stewardship. And I guess the point really is that you never know when you are a public servant, when you will actually have to come and give an actual account of your stewardship. In the past, these kind of things went to commonplace. Yes. So you could look at it and say that, uh oh, the war against corruption, the fight against corruption, is still going on in full, in, you know, in, in earnest. It is going on in earnest. There are those who are saying that, oh, whatever, whatever, but it is going on in earnest, and ministers, uh, the executive council, I was, uh, uh, for instance, when, the, when she reported that the minister of uh, education had then actually contributed that, and by the way, there's still a further amount coming. It looks like, unlike before, Everybody seems to be on board. Yeah, uh, one of the high points of this administration is that um, 
ability to look into proper account of institutions, bearing in mind that in their manifesto, they said they are going to fight corruption. Mm. And they are doing that, okay? And in doing that, like you said, every Nigerian who had uh, agencies of government, now we know that there's going to come a time where the, the accountability, you know, where they will come and, you know, clearly state yes. how yes. they manage really the resources. Really Yes, the resources mm -hmm. of that agency whilst they were in office. You understand? And this is sending a, a signal to not just pass uh, uh, leaders of agencies of government, but existing leaders, because we, 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 we saw what, it, this is not the first time, we saw what the, uh, the MPA boss turned out, uh, the, um, uh, what, uh, the, the one of the agency, immigration, mm -hmm. turned out not yes. too long ago, yes. and customs. as against, yes, yes and customs, customs, yes, against customs. the historical remittances. Yes, as against the previous one. So I think also that they should also extend probe and investigation to what really happened. Is it that we're not having more groups coming into the country as against the first exactly. before? Or is it that the uh, excise duties and the uh, levies at the ports or at the entrance and all that, the, the borders and all that, is there any change mm -hmm. to mm -hmm. mean that we'll not have more results? I think that um, uh, the president came with this vigor. You know, Nigeria has been battered, looted, and probably almost destroyed, okay? But I think that vigor is yielding fruit positively in that direction that people must begin to, because the problem we have in Nigeria has to do with uh, corruption, wastages, and exactly. this is the reason, because we have enough funds to go around. We have enough agencies to work for the good of Nigeria. Well, but, when you say we have enough to go around, it's only now you're probably beginning to come to a, a full realization of that, because we've always been told that there are too many demands chasing limited resources. But how limited were those resources? The minister actually, Minister Adioshu, you know, gave something of a hint in, in by, when she suggested that, not so much suggested as stated, that there hasn't been an increase in fees or charges so that now begins to, experts will no doubt conduct this probe and wherever else there is, uh, where, wherever else is left that mm -hmm. they can go, they probably will go. It might well be that, well, you, when you consider the fact that in this administration of President Mohamed Buhari's uh, tenure, you know, maybe there's been a 7,000 fold increase in registrations, we don't know. Yes. But it is a mind boggling figure. I, I think somebody, uh, okay, somebody was going to uh, <laughs> call in to join the A. So it then begins to inevitably call to question the processes of previous administrations because it's one thing uh, for people to be carrying on the way they wish in government agencies. It's another thing for the administration to, to allow it or to make it easy uh, to, to, to be done. Somebody has been looking at the books and sees that these figures don't gel and that's why uh, she, she made this report. Um, and if you look in the previous years when oil was no problem, I think she cited that we go back to when oil was $109 to the barrel yes. to what we have now and look at this situation. Someone else wants to join this conversation. Uh, Mr. George calling in from Ikeja. Good morning, sir. Good morning, Uncle Yori. Thank you for calling in. Good morning. Uh, good morning to Mr. Felix. Yes. Uh, good morning. Uncle Yori, um, what is coming out is a vindication of a, a statement I made earlier that if you remove corruption, Uncle Yori, from our system, no Nigerian will be hungry. We have enough, more than enough. This one is just the tip of the iceberg. If you were to go deep into what happens in various departments, you will discover that we have so much that just a very few people are pocketing it. It reminds me of um, what one maritime lawyer has been saying, Chief Olisa Agbakoba. He said that they should, the government should give him a chance, that if they give him a chance in the maritime industry, he will receive seven trillion naira in a year. He has been saying it, and I don't know why the government is not giving such a man an opportunity to serve. He has been boasting. That mm. if he's there, because he knows all the loopholes, mm -hmm. that he can reap in seven trillion naira in a year from the maritime sector. There you go. 
when you have such a man in a country, why are we not making use of him? The issue of uh, uh, jam, <clears throat> in my view, the whole jam, the whole concept of jam needs to be reviewed. They, they collect money from millions of candidates in a year, and at the end of the day, their result is not binding on the universities. The universities still, still screen their students and decide who and who to, to take. And now they, are, they have even uh, started to degrade our educational system. You are saying that from 180, you should become 120. Mm. In my view, education, the standard of education is supposed to be raised, not to be brought down. You don't bring down standards for people. You make people to rise in order to reach a standard. So the, the whole concept of jam, in my view, has been a, a kind of corruption. Now, this is just manifesting now. You just imagine where all those monies must have been going. Indeed. I want to thank, uh, finally thank the Minister of uh, Finance. She seems to be the only minister that is fighting corruption. You can prove me wrong, but she's the only one I'm saying. Thank you, Uncle Yori. Thank you very much, Mr. George, for calling in. Um, uh, stay with us, please. We'll take a quick break. We won't be, you know, we'll be right back. Stay with us. Welcome back, and um, we're looking at the revelation by the Minister of uh, Finance that government agencies are to be investigated in, in terms of remittances that have the historical you know, remittances of such agencies to government coffers. Against the backdrop, as you've heard before, but if you're just joining us, that in the case of JAM, for instance, no more than 3 million naira was ever received from them per month in the entire 40 years of their existence. But you know, the happy news that uh, just this year alone, five billion naira, no less, plus the prospect of three billion more to come, as added by the Minister of uh, Education, is going to be the figure. So we're going to be looking at eight billion naira in just the one year from JAM. And if you look at um, what, at a rate of three million naira a month, <laughs> I don't know how much that in the past 40 years. <laughs> um, so we've been joined since by Mr. Larry Suraj, Civil Society Network Against Corruption. Uh, thank you for coming on. Um, that must have, it was, I said at the beginning, it's mind boggling to me. Um, what, would you, because of the nature of your, 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 your scenario, mm -hmm. would you, did you ex suspect this? Oh yes, actually um, it is really not so much of a news to us because um, I can remember about um, three years ago, uh, Mr. Femi Falano, uh, senior advocate of Nigeria, actually did uh, a similar calculation going by the amount, uh, the cost of purchasing a single jam form yes. uh, and then the number of applicants and candidates who sit for those exams. He actually did that calculation and ran into billions of naira. He wrote, actually wrote a petition to the National Assembly calling for investigation into the matter. I see. Because those monies were not paid into the Federation account. They were paid into JAM's account. And JAM gets allocation from the government yeah. to carry out all his activities. Mm -hmm. So those monies don't go to, they are not appropriated by the National Assembly, mm -hmm. which makes it actually an offense for JAM to even spend any of those are money uh, yeah. before now. But that was going on. Unfortunately, what happened, uh, the previous um, National Assembly only ended up conducting 
what you usually have them doing, uh, the hearing uh, for jump, and nobody heard the outcome of outcome uh, the of discussion. So uh, they probably also got their share of uh, the, the loot, uh, and then everybody kept quiet. So the moment you can find someone... That, 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 last, that last sentence there was a bit wicked. <laughs> because we do... We, <laughs> that the National <laughs> Assembly got their own cut and therefore kept quiet. <laughs> so, no, we, 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 so we don't forget that there's going to be a pro. <laughs> so the general rule for them is that you don't talk when you eat. Mm. So the moment you get here of it, your hand is soiled, your mouth is soiled, then uh, mm. it, it, but, that mood becomes But you'll the admit that was word. speculative. you no, admit. No, that, you, know, you don't have proof. No, they, they, they would need that, to now tell us. Uh -huh. What was the outcome of their own findings? Indeed. The moment that was not released to the public, it was not tabled before the floor of the National Assembly. The simple truth to that, and we don't actually need to provide any form of cover for them. I'm willing to challenge them on that, and then they can take it up, and then let's go and to either to court. You know, for us maybe we we'll use the French legal system, <laughs> where, <laughs> yes, where you, 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 you <laughs> stole it. Yeah, it's like you didn't yeah, steal yeah, it. That is the point. Yeah, but, fortunately, uh, but fortunately or unfortunately, depending on what side you're on, mm -hmm. uh, I guess we, we have this system here where innocent until proven guilty. So the, uh, no, but Actually, that is one of the things that has been taken. When they say innocent until proven guilty, even in, we have both the court of law and also the public opinion, the court of the public. So in the court of the public opinion, you are guilty the moment you are accused yeah. and you have mm. this evidence of either a complice mm. or mm. even your quiet mm -hmm. um, uh, acquaintance with whatever it is that is happening, then you need to show to the people, especially when you mingle in the mix of force, you, you, if the fox, then there's a need for you to show <laughs> that you actually don't belong to that family. You've been seen in their midst, so it is assumed that you're one of them. So the, uh, this administration seems to be unrelenting on, on that aspect of its manifesto, uh, of its party's manifesto, to tackle corruption head on. Um, Mr. George, one of our callers and regular viewers had said that Kemi Adeyoshun is the only minister that he sees. Well, again, somebody else will probably contribute some other minister. Somebody else will contribute some other minister. Um, because uh, uh, Kemi Adeyoshun did say that the minister of, uh, of um, uh, education mm. did actually contribute that uh, even as impressive as the five billion naira is, mm -hmm. there's still another sum to be remitted very, very shortly yeah. of mm. three billion uh, naira. No, so, sorry, so, I mean, talk to court, that is just damp. Yeah, it's the I same know. thing with Neko. Uh, exactly. It's the same thing with Naek. Mumbo, Mumbo, Mumbo. I was coming there <laughs> because she did also <laughs> emphasize. It's just that these two, just you know, just sort of you know, maybe because of these kind of figures, jump out. But the, they're not going to be the only two agencies. Mm -hmm. She did say, and other agencies. Yes. Now that government knows that. Um, what has been going on has been going on, whatever that is. A probe will show. Mm -hmm. Was it wastefulness? Mm -hmm. Was it bad accounting? Mm -hmm. uh, because we, we just have to keep an open mind about it. Yes. But it's going to take some yes. explanation. Some explanation. So where has all that money been? Mm -hmm. uh, uh, Professor Dibu or Jenny Day, mm -hmm. uh, he is the immediate past uh, mm -hmm. registrar uh, re uh, yeah, register of uh, JAM. Yeah. So between him and his predecessors, mm. going back 40 years, mm. uh, they, they have a lot of explaining to do. And it, mm. if, if we're trying to be careful the way we're stating it so as not to compromise any or not to show any particular bias, but you can imagine how much has slipped through the cracks. Mm. But how can such money slip through the cracks? That's the other question. What, mm. what kind of administrations have we been having in the past? Mm. These ones have only been there for what? Two and a half Eight years? Eight months. No, it's not. No, the we, jam we, man we, is up. No, no, no. no, no. I'm, yeah. I'm, 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 I'm talking about uh, the administration that okay. is now causing all of this to yeah, be yeah. opened up. Yeah. Over, mm -hmm. over, the, over the years, we've, we've not had them. Um, um, good Even governance. President Obasanjo's okay. administration mm -hmm. had a lot of leakages, uh, so, so a what lot of wastages mm -hmm. and all that. Mm -hmm. So so I think the, the proper thing we should be talking about is how to get all these agencies and clean them up mm -hmm. for the purposes of good governance. Because when you say governance, governance, and you're only shouting on the federal government, you are getting it wrong. Mm -hmm. like, like, le, le, I mean, the politicians, the, the ones in the spotlight that have mm -hmm. our mandate, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. And I mm -hmm. think maybe that's why we shout, because mm -hmm. they have our mm -hmm. mandate. Mm -hmm. The ones appointed in these ministries don't actually have the mandate of the people except for the government. And so they just carry That's on. Their so own so I way. think we must pay more attention to these other people in the agencies. Mm -hmm. You understand? Because that is where... But we can't, we, we, we can't 
you see, if you don't have a government such as this administration that is not letting bygones be bygones, there's no esprit de corps. Yeah. Government people do esprit de corps. Exactly. Yeah. I mean, so you lawyers talk about vicarious you know, liability. Yes. So yes. if an elected person yes. appoints a criminal and he perpetrates whatever crime, yes. is in the know, name of the elected officers. Know, of course. So we and and they won't pass, pass the Minister of Education. Mm -hmm. Because if it follows, oh, it, it will follow. You understand? It should will also. There's be, going to be something of a domino effect. Yes, it should know. also be pro because there's no way uh, Jambu get this number of students, collect this number of funds, mm. and the minister mm -hmm. uh, is aware. Mm. Is aware of the number mm. of students, and you know, money is currency. Anywhere money pass, you must know. Mm. Exactly. If you if you give me one billion today, now tomorrow, if you check if you look at me mm. you will know something has passed <laughs> that's why it's called currency once it pass uh -huh. you must know so there is no way a mini uh, minister of education in the past mm. who was a minister during the time of uh, this uh, oh, yeah. man mm. would not also be called to question because there's a chain in this thing so that yes. yeah there so is. that they should come out we've not said the the money was Somebody uh, said, I think it was issue. Mr. George when he called, said this yeah. is just the tip of the ice, iceberg, as Larry has said. Mm -hmm. But he's not unduly surprised mm -hmm. and that there are those Nigerians that have been watching this kind of thing. Mm -hmm. But it just goes to show you that it's not all, uh, yeah, we, uh, we, we, it, it made big news when you see foreign currencies in some mm -hmm. cabinet somewhere. And you take, mm -hmm. But much, much worse than that has been going on. Mm -hmm. And it, it boggles the mind. But as you said, it's not even going to be just those agencies because those agencies were under the purview of certain ministers yeah. and ministries. Mm, yeah, yeah. Uh, no, I think it's the political will on the, which is what we need to commend and establish. Yes. It's the political will on the part of the leadership mm. that would also percolate and bring about some of these changes that you see at the lower rung of the ladder and that you can see some measure of changes. If the minister, like you rightly observe, is also compromised, it probably would have been very difficult for the jam registrar to turn in the, this, this kind of return. Uh, and, and then also show a but different path. I'm still trying to get wrap my head around it. I'm no, still it's trying to wrap, difficult. I'm still you trying know. to wrap my head around yeah, it. Yeah, it's extremely. I mean, these people were being wickedly remitting three million naira. exploitative to the extent wickedly that they remitting charge, three million naira they a month. charge indigent students very high for the cost of those forms mm -hmm. because jam actually was not. Uh, Instituted and it's not, to even be though profit making, jam. even though yeah. we're not mentioning jam, I just wanted to remind you that, mm. as you also said, mm. it's not jam alone not or alone. Nemasa alone. No, 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 just no, about all those so, agencies, yeah, agencies so, the fund all, all and all the that, fund the raising of fund generating agencies of government are all culpable, and that is why you can see the, like you said, the immediate transformation in the lives of the heads or the CEOs. The moment they get appointed and they are leaving, their lives are never the same again. And it is not as a function of either the salaries they get or the perks from no, office. No. It is all out of those that you never see or you never know. So and we must actually dig, and that's why I'm happy that there's a mandate now to the anti-corruption agencies to start an investigation. We must go back the memory because lane. there was a system. For, exactly. It's clear that there was a system exactly. on the ground. Yeah. And uh, Larry alluded to political will mm. to, to do the right thing. Uh, the speaking out by this administration against mm. bad practices in the past, for example, uh, I don't know this whole matter about keeping quiet because if they could find it, mm. then just about every other administration who had looked would have also have found it. And I, I also have thought that the uh, government need not to have announced this probe. Mm. Because okay. announcing That's another it, aspect. Yeah, because announcing it now, uh, when you say, I'm going to probe this, mm. you will find out that certain persons might start to begin to mm. alter and mutilate documents. <laughs> and, well, burn, and, burn, and burn cabinets. It's, it's speculative, yeah. <laughs> you no, understand? I, I think it is fine. Uh, so that, I agree uh, <laughs> with you, but you know, the government must actually show, and that is what we've been lacking, must yes. show to be government. And for you to destroy evidence and documents, it's another crime of its own. Yes. So if that should happen, the government should go the extra length of finding out those who will be behind that. Because I trust Nigerians. If the announcements were just made, mm. and they say we've just recovered, and the government keeps quiet, the next question is, what are you doing about the past? Exactly. So the uh, government must be able to show Mr. that. Uh, sorry, Mr. Eze in Ghana, good morning. Yes, also you are a good morning. Good morning, sir. And a good morning, again. Good morning, good morning thank you. 
Okay, yeah. yeah. please, uh, I want to know something. I think uh, this uh, station is for international. Yes, we, we, are, we are seen, you know, internationally. Okay. And uh, the problem of Nigeria now is all those things that you people are discussing. Like the one you people discussed yesterday. Do you know that you people are the problem of Nigeria? Do you know that uh, Satan is even better than you people? Animals. Okay. You people are evil. Uh, Mr. Eze, okay. You are evil. You, you are angry. You, yourself. You, you are evil. You are angry. You are angry, Mr. Eze. That you much is clear. Uh, we cannot allow you to you continue. Thank you very much for calling in. Appreciate your call, even though you were angry. Um, so, I thought he wanted to contribute to this particular problem, uh, this particular topic. We cannot be distracted from it. Uh, you, you said that kudos must be given to this administration because there's this political will thing. One just hopes that everybody will, you know, you know it's often been said that it is only President Muhammad Buhari that is fighting corruption. Well, this is cheerful news. Uh, because it, it is one of his ministers, <laughs> yes. and in the report it showed that there were other ministers that are all of like mind. Mm. So perhaps sometimes we, we don't cut ourselves enough slack, um, and maybe there's the emotional part of it, mm. but it shows that to the extent of the report of the Minister of Finance, mm. there does seem to be a team that is working on, on the Nigeria project. Yeah, I mean, that is obvious. And it also goes to show that it is not all Nigerians that are bad. There are quite a lot of credible Nigerians that are out there. Yeah. There are quite a lot of very quiet people who are doing the little they can in, in their own very small area of operations. And that is what um, uh, um, Professor Ishak Oloyede has succeeded in doing. And for us, that, that is where we need to take yes. the whole anti-corruption mantra. Yes, transparency. And, yeah, yes. and then Go. move it away from just government, move it away from politicians. Yes. It, it tells clearly that most of the criminals within our systems, or the crime are not limited to just the politicians. Exactly. Even, uh, even you technocrats. Yeah. You, you know, know you never can tell. Uh, Mazi Okoroa for good morning, sir. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Good morning, Mazi. Uh, you see, the probe is a uh, welcome development, but it's coming very, very late to me. This type of probe should be on before our new chief executive takes over not only JAMA and the other organizations owned by the other parasitas in Nigeria. You ask yourself, four billions of dollars missing, can the Nigerian government trade the origin where they invested such money for now? Well, that would say, but the question I said, if you check where that is, this issue went start complaint about their salaries, about their allowances, about their pension, about their leave, and about their working wages. All these things are always true. But we Nigerians, the people are question out to close, open and close, which you don't want to find out whether the what the workers are saying or not. The other argument, like you said, have not helped us to trace some of these things. But the question now is this for Nigeria now to move forward. Nigerian government to start up trace where this money is because at the end of just coming to shows on television and newspapers that some the amount of money they're supposed to generate from all these organizations and other organizations that the government can just it will be a problem. But at the end of the day, we want the proper report. I would like Nigerian government, anything that they are telling us now, they should show us the, the figures that written on the national daily and TV uh, television. They will show us the documents just so that we Nigerians will read all this so that we know that what they are telling us is true story. Okay. If we say that this RRR uh, generation of this RRR is helping us, but the question is, how do we audit the present accounts now? That is the question which the government has to say. We don't have proper auditing, whether forensic or anything, to take in Nigeria. Mm. Thank you very much. Have a blessed day in Lagos. Thank you very much, uh, Mazi Okorafo. If I got him right, he's saying that, look, the people need to authenticate that mm. this is not just a PR drive, Luke, yeah. you mm, know, mm. Uh, and that it, it actually is what it sounds like. Maybe yeah. because the, the figures are so mind-boggling. Yeah. Yeah. And, you know, oftentimes they say, where there are those, there are, there are, there are the naysayers, gentlemen, mm. as mm. you know, mm. who are saying that, Nothing is going on. Never mind all those stories. Show us. Show some, us. Some will even tell you that the one that has been recovered or that just been declared will be looted. 
and you would also have to understand it's been the failure of government and governance in the past. People tend to have lack of complete trust or confidence in government. People are so pessimistic about even the most obvious positive results that are recorded by government. But unfortunately, um, the truth of the matter is that we assume government to be only those who are occupying Mm. public offices or mm. civil servants. Mm. And government is about all of us. Mm -hmm. And this mm -hmm. is where I get to give a whole lot of kudos to especially the EFCC. Uh, you know, when you see um, an anti-corruption agency even touring over and above several other anti-corruption agencies, okay. they fight against corruption and crime, even in other climes that we celebrate the London Mets, the FBI, it is not out of the fact that they have some spiritual or metaphysical means of detecting crime. Mm. It is because the citizens are the eyes and ears of the law enforcement agencies. They report many of those cases and infractions, but many of us, unfortunately, especially Nigerians, were potential aspirants to many of those offices. Mm -hmm. So when you but see someone no. committing, you're not bothered that is committing. All you are looking for is for you to just get there and do your own. Do, as, as, your as, own. as people say, uh, my, uh, it is now my turn, <laughs> it <is> <laughs> unfortunately, <laughs> it's a, which it's is a, totally a, different from wanting to go on there and yes, give your public service with transparency. Uh, Mr. Matthew is calling in from the UK. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning, Mr. Yori. Thank you for calling in. And morning to your guests, you already okay? Good morning. Please go and ahead. First of all, I have to praise our President Buhari because in the story of Nigeria, we now have anybody who has done this type of thing is doing against it, corruption. You, you ask where the money is, you know, when he was asking where all those money are there, they are in private pockets. <laughs> in Nigeria today, the richest people we have in Nigeria are civil servants. All the houses built in Asoro, I mean in, in Abuja, they belong to civil servants. So we are asking where the money is. The money is in the private pocket of civil servants. Not only uh, Son or Moneko or Namasa or Jam. Go look look at the look at Navdak. Look at Navdak today. I'm a victim of Navdak, I can tell you. Before I register one product in NAVDAC, it took me 400000 A product that's supposed to be 250000 From one table to the other, you pay 20000 From one table to the other, you pay 20000 And the director himself knows about this thing. Knows that she didn't know about it. Can you imagine the former director of NAVDAC? He went to contest election in Enugu State. How did he get the money to contest for a governorship in Enugu State? For you to contest the government in a state in Nigeria, you must be talking about 500 million naira expenses. Where did he get it? It's the money he accumulated when he was a director in Navdak. You, you can't really say. Then, then you, you, you can't, you, Mr. Quiet, Matthew, Mr. Natural, Matthew, you, 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 you understand. You know, you know that you can't say that. <laughs> we have to wait for you the result of the probe, sir. Jam, okay. 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 Oh, thank you very much for calling in. We appreciate your call. I, I, I know why. I know why people reason like this. It, it, it's, it's because of the failure of the past. You understand? But, but, but additionally, sir, I, I think um, what he said, uh, Mr. Matthew from the UK, there um, about civil servants. Um, we've concentrated on political appointees. Mm, it's the long. point that we made for too long. Mm. And um, he's introducing a new idea that, wait a minute, all those civil servants, they say that even if you don't appoint, if you, even if you don't make political appointees, the civil service will still run. Yes. Mr. Matthew is saying, look into that very, very civil service. Yes. But they are the ones who retire the funds. Look at the civil because service. Because even when the politicians do all they do, mm -hmm. they look for someone who will retire the funds. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's the, it's the civil servant that does it. It is even so alleged also that it is the civil servants, no, it, those it, ones that have gone rogue among mm, them, mm, it is the civil servants that, that corrupts, tutor no, the, <laughs> the political yeah, appointees. Okay. Yeah, okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay, honorable, you are very welcome. Yeah, now, let's yes. tell you how it works. Yeah. Yeah. You know, yeah, let's tell you how it works. So you saw the Minister of Power, the one that was uh, recently also... Um, 
uh, unveiled with so many number of cars and vehicles yeah, and yeah, amount, so, yeah. a humongous amount of money for, <laughs> you know, I mean, there, there is that speculation. Yeah. I believe that, no, but that it is, is the civil servants that now right. educate and indeed corrupt you, it, it is political right. appointees. It is, the, the speculation is not actually unfounded. And I'm very, very happy to use the word speculation. Yeah, yeah, because so the, the truth of the matter <laughs> is that you would see an average civil servant who ends uh, uh, sorry, about... because of international charges, Musa, Mr. Musa is waiting in Togo. Good morning, Mr. Musa. Yeah, good morning, Yore. We're waiting for you. Go ahead, yeah. please. Yeah, about the issue people are discussing. Now, there is a one question I want to ask here. Yeah. Why is it that anything concerning money, media and other uh, athletes in Nigeria, we is eager discussing about this, talking about this like the heaven is about to fall? But if you come to the first human life, they discuss the issue just briefly, just forget about it. Why is it Nigeria does not value human life now? Look at what is going on in the South. It's supposed to be the head, supposed to be something that is. Mr. Mr. Musa, Mr. Musa, you you have an interesting accent for Mr. Musa. You have a very interesting accent for Mr. Musa. Don't change our subject, Mr. Musa, with the interesting accent. Um, we looked at that subject yesterday. Um, very, very intriguing accent for a Mr. Musa, but it's possible still. Um, thank you very much for calling in. You know, so <laughs> as we as we were saying, it's 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 a serious matter again speculation I interrupted you were speculating uh, this whole idea that civil servants maybe right now we're busy looking at political appointees in the past there might be something you know towards looking inward especially as everybody knows that it is the civil service that is the mainstay really of, of, of government mm -hmm. uh, uh, the, the PMB administration took its time to appoint ministers. Mm -hmm. That doesn't mean that work wasn't going on. Yeah. Yeah. The mm -hmm. civil servants, yeah. the technocrats, Permanent kept, secretaries. the permanent secretaries, mm -hmm. they kept the, the machines running. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, there are those who have said that, you know, all those, you know, respected uh, civil servants. Hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> it's okay, mm -hmm. you know. I have finished. It, it, is, it is clear. Uh, Mr. Mm -hmm. Femi in Surulere, good morning, sir. Hello, good morning. Thank you for calling in. Yeah, thank you. Good morning, Gloria. Thank you for calling. Mm -hmm. What I want to say is this. Can I go ahead? Can I go ahead? Yes, yeah. please. Okay. Okay. The, the first thing is that when you have a problem, you must first of all know the root, you must first of all know the root cause of that problem. The problem that we have started, started with the mass in the civil service that was carried out during the time of Mutella Mohammed. That was the first foundation. Before the advent of that particular time, even the people with Papam Sek at that time, they didn't have that thinking rich. But the moment that thing happened, the civil service now, the service at that time, got their seniors leaving the government quarters to go and start renting houses. They have not even completed their houses. From that moment, the children that were coming behind them, they decided to take care of themselves. That is where we started. So, we like to them, it was never again. <laughs> so now, after that time, now that we have the, uh, uh, you know, you cannot steal civil government alone. It has to go through some people. And during the process, we can have, hello? Yes, we can still hear you. Yeah. We now have the, the this uh, whistleblower, this thing. The whistleblower will really take care of the listing. If you go down the whole of the listing, during the military era, they have mastered, they have mastered how to steal. So the pro, uh, the block that is put in place now will deal it seriously. Yes, yes. Because if you go to all the agencies, all the ministries, they are perfected how to the money. Hmm. 
Okay. So okay, Mr. I Femi. hope that with this visible I mean, things will uh, be. But, but I don't know how you know, Thank Mr. Femi, that technocrats and civil servants have learned, have perfected the art of uh, stealing government money. Uh, I don't know how you know uh, this speculation <laughs> is going, it, it is going around, you know. You know, I don't know how we know these things, we Nigerians. No, <laughs> we I don't know, know how because we know these we, are, things. we are part of the system. Uh, <laughs> of course, we are part of the system. Of the system and the society, and we see yeah. what's going on. And we, what is going and we on. hear. So we yeah. cannot pretend that we don't know. Mm. We know what is going on, but what we are saying but is we that we can Wait correct. A minute. Wait a minute, sir. We, you say we see, we know. Mm. Uh, perhaps we also play along. Of course. We're involved in the system. And when, when you're pointing at someone that someone is corrupt or is misappropriating government funds, you also need to look at yourself. Because from, you might be a beneficiary. Yes, from your, home, directly. From, from your home front, from your streets, from the association, landlord association and all that. What happens? People misappropriate funds at those levels. You understand? Misappropriate your and these are fund, supposed, business funds and all that. They're supposedly non-political. Yes. Yeah. These I mean, are professionals. If you, if you remember vividly, when the new government came in, um, in a couple of one or two, three months, there was the whole agitation and the whole condemnation and criticism of no money is flowing again. We don't see money. Yeah. No money. Ah, ah, this government is so austere. This, this, that. I mean, but you would check. It is not like the salaries were stopped. It is not like the new salaries were owed. No. It is just that you don't see and bank carrying contractors again. Yeah. You don't see LPUs uh -huh. sold again. You don't see bribe flowing. So almost all the people uh, beneficiaries, both even at the local communities, who many of the politicians would, with the free money will go and dole out money. Mm. They were not getting those free monies again. So the, even the area boys who hail you, do, do you and think, freely. Do, do you think this is pointing towards government perhaps now looking inward in addition to you know, you know, oh, yeah, yeah. It, it was saying they were they were saying at one time that you can't open up a war like this on too many fronts, mm -hmm. so as not to spread yourself. Oh yeah, precisely. Thin. But but it looks like government is saying that, look, there's a lot of stuff even inside here. Precisely. Uh, Mr. Maxwell, Tema, Ghana, good morning, sir. Good morning, Uncle Yari. Thank you for calling in, sir. Yes, sir. Um, there is something I, I, I would like to comment based on the issue on the table. But before that, I would like to use this opportunity to admonish to you, sir, that TDC is not a station where people will call in to vent their anger. TBC is not the federal government of Nigeria. And TBC is not IPOP. I was a soldier, and I know what I passed through in Liberia, Syria, Alone, Somalia, and Rwanda, all over. I don't, I don't like people calling in using your platform to vent their anger. It is never done that way. Thank you very much. Corruption. Thank you for that comment. Concerning the corruption, I would like to say that the corruption has been there for quite some time, Uncle Yuri. And uh, I, I, I am very much in support of what um, um, uh, this administration is doing in corruption. They might not get all, but a thousand, uh, how do they call it, um, uh, um, a, a, a thousand kilometer you know, steps could yeah, uh, begin with a step. With the first step. Even if they can even get 10 out of that 1,000, I will be very, very happy to see that. They should probe them, get them. It will be difficult because it is a kind of cabal. It is a set. They are, they are the cabal that are holding most of this remittances that are supposed to go to the federal government for the development of Nigeria. <laughs> they seize all this money, squander it. Now they are attracting probe. So mm -hmm. when these bodies were released, will people be agitating today, oh, my place is marginalized, this is marginalized, this is marginalized. Civil service, permanent um, uh, uh, secretary, all of them. There is no, there is no institution of Nigeria, uh, Nigeria that is not out. It is just few. I like what this man is doing. He was my boss. I served him for about six months. Mm -hmm. I, I am grateful that the change has come mm -hmm. and so many things will be, you know, exposed. Indeed. Thank you, sir, and have a great day. Th thank, thank you very, very much for coming in, uh, Mr. Maxwell. And also, thank you for your comments of support um, that we are what we are. We are totally independent. We, we, we try to take all sides of uh, an issue. 
And um, now and again, we do get one or two people that might just vent like that. Uh, we sort of take it in our stride, but we wish it wouldn't happen. Uh, thank you very much, Mr. Maxwell, for that comment of support. Now, you see a lot of, we, okay, against the backdrop of how expensive it is to get into elective politics in mm -hmm. Nigeria. Yet, you see mm -hmm. that that doesn't seem to slow down former civil servants. Mm -hmm. uh, you find so many of them being able to come up with the humongous, you know, uh, the sums that are required to mm -hmm. prosecute their ambition. Yeah. Um, whereas and there sorry, are and I should also have that. Remember, the law prohibits a civil servant from running or doing any other business That's except right. farming. That's right. So, so whereas we don't see their farms. From your salary. Exactly. So you're only expected to, but you can still have, like you said, quite a number of them going into politics, <laughs> like the former governor of Niger State, who yes. was just a permanent it, secretary. Yes. And, quite, and uh, I think the caller who estimated the cost of running for a governorship election at 500 yes. completely grossly underestimates the okay. cost uh, of... Let me quickly um, squeeze in Mr. Uh, Uluyomi. Mr. Uluyomi is in Ilori, Kwara State. Good morning, sir. Yes. Yeah, morning. morning. Go morning. ahead, please. Yes, sir. Uh, yeah, good morning, sis. Thank you for the wonderful work you are doing over there. And uh, I just want to, I want to contribute to the program for as pertaining corruption. Go ahead, please. We, we are running out of time. Please don't listen to yourself. But you see, what what I want to say about the country is that. What I want to tell you about the, country, the problem is that we have to take the bull by the horn and do something necessary concerning corruption. And the corruption starts from where we're supposed to enter it. Sorry for taking you aback, but we have to at least start from the top, where the senators, where our elected leaders are taking salary that, allowances that we cannot disclose to people. All right, then. Mr. Olu, yeah. I've got to interrupt you. I take your point. Mm -hmm. Really, you couldn't go say much more than begin to cite examples. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. The point is taken. I, we've run out of time. That's why I couldn't take much more. In fact, so much so that I only have time to thank uh, Mr. Evans Ufeli, you know, uh, legal practitioner and public affairs analyst, and indeed our friend Larry Raj uh, of Civil Society Network um, Against mm -hmm. Corruption. It does look like uh, it's the dawn of a new chapter in the fight against corruption where uh, hopefully, uh, maybe that's the way we see it, but hopefully government is now turning the searchlight within. Mm -hmm. You know, all those other ones, it is what it is. But how come we have ignored that sector until now? So to that extent, kudos to the administration for going along those lines. Thank you very much, gentlemen. Okay, so that's our program for the day and also the week and um, we'll be back on monday so join us then at half 10 in the morning for a fresh edition of the program i'm yori polari bye-bye for now